and the gravel's up above you. Uh, dissected trees apart for the last time. So this would be changed with the guard. That goes right over your top window. You can pop it up like this so it's cleanable. You clean it off and uh, that works super well. Uh, it's rated at about 800 pounds from 40 feet when I was pulled from the manufacturer of this machine. And that was what that guard's rated at. Here's all your extra electrical components for the saw and all the uh, other extra electrical equipment that's on this machine. We got nice access, three decent sized opening here. This pops off, boom, you're in the battery. You got an engine. I've been told, don't know a ton about it, but that's this is a good, good engine to run. Um, it's really, really quiet. That's one thing I have noticed about this machine. When I'm sitting inside and I go to start it up, that, at times I, I, I really don't know that it's running, especially if you have a little earpiece in or something. So compared to our other equipment, it's been really quiet. That's nice. So we'll walk down this way and check this out. Fairly nice way up and down on it. Work our way around. We got access to the hydraulic manifold here. Work our way back around. heavier or not but I'm really really glad we did on this with that head that grapple saw head all the way out over the side this is really keeps it stable so for the for the size machine running that size head I have found this machine to be really really stable and, and this definitely helped come around to this side got obviously a cleanable screen you pop that right out blow it out every couple days or every day if you're in really Saw the seat type stuff, so got that on access. Got your air filter, and then we'll take, take a look at the ground here. So, super, super comfortable. Uh, Eight-way seat, all your uh, your comforts. We can actually take this inside for a second, and we're gonna shut this door. I don't know if this will give you uh, any any. Uh, Ability to kind of hear the difference, but we'll put our guard up and start this. Machine's running right now. Very, very quiet. If you go ahead and turn the fan down, that's get the brake down here. That's full throttle right there. It's it's quiet in here in comparison to a lot of the other machines I've ran in this class. So then you got uh your camera options uh, I like to run this you got your rear view and your side view which is nice that's looking straight that way that camera many different functions I don't need to go through all of them but you can do a lot with this uh, setting hydraulics and uh, and uh, you know all your other settings so uh, just extremely comfortable your uh, AC boom fans on full right there fans all the way off so it's been nice real quick uh, uh controls there so overall cabin super quiet like i said great visibility out the top and it's nice to know that you got that that protection there so we'll go ahead and jump out and look at uh, some of the rest machine clicked her off there definitely you could hear it but it's uh pretty nice really really nice great undercarriage uh this track pad width um I didn't really get the width until we ordered the machine and uh it's uh it's 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 a narrower track than other machine and i thought we'd fight that pretty bad um with stability over the side but not at all and the advantages are being more nimble getting around in the woods it definitely has made a difference on how nimble the machine feels so i would definitely recommend this 
track whip, especially in a forestry application. I've done dirt work this, with this machine and it does awesome. But obviously in really wet ground, you would probably notice a difference, but you know what you're doing on it, it won't be a big deal. So if you look here, this is the winch. Sorry about the bad tail on the end. That, uh, that sucks and I need to redo it. But with that pipe choker on it, that's been a great, great ad for you know choking trees, winching them up, pulling stuff. This clips right in. Here, quick disconnect. You plug in three lines. You got a switch in the cab. You hit the switch and you run the in and out with your right track pedal. Uh, this winch is amazing. It's been. Uh, we haven't even come close to maxing it out on the stuff we've done. Uh, very, very impressed with it. Clean up bucket, it'll handle this like butter. I've never ran a machine in dirt without a thumb, and I've really, really liked it, that combo. So you got the grapples for the, the tree work, the work, that type of stuff. But when it comes to moving dirt, it'll handle this bucket completely loaded all the way over the side, and it'll hog pretty good. Nice tooth bucket, the geese also, they're nice heavy deal, duty built buckets. We got the rake for it, also, also a geese rake over at the yard, I'll get a snapshot of that in a bit. Now over to the, the main sauce here, the main hot sauce, you got a 40 inch from Shank, if you get this spring loaded, now you can relieve the pressures and then pull that out and it cams over switch your uh, your bar out to change your chain you loosen that right there a half a turn slide your bar in pop your new chain on tighten that um, hit that breather a couple times as soon as you fire up the machine hydraulic pressurizes this bar and you're rocking and rolling one thing I've noticed with that bar I was told that they're six seven eight hundred dollar bars not true they're, they're about 170 I bet one I've been really, really extremely impressed with how strong they are. I'm used to a chainsaw bar, but this, this bar, I've had it flexed over. I've had it stepped out of a tree where I, where I pulled up on it, and uh, they're impressive. So you can get away with a lot, and you're going to want that when you learn to, learn to run this because you will put yourself into situations. You can see here you got a four-tine and a three-tine grapple. So this actually works fairly good for, for raking. You can open these up and do some raking with it. Works extremely well. Um, this thing will grab a big log. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump in the cab, kind of spin it around, open it, close it, show you the saw. Maybe we'll run over the, the, the pile of wood and grab something to saw it up a little bit. Then we'll throw the winch on, hook it onto something and give that a little yank. So let's, uh, let, let me fire it up for you.